So uh, in last class, we were discussing about uh, rotary actuators. Uh, we are mainly uh, focused on hydraulic type rotary actuators. It is also known as hydraulic motors. So uh, yesterday, we already uh, are familiar with uh, these three types of hydraulic motors. They are uh, gear motor, vane motor, and piston motor. OK. I think you know how it works and uh, the basic uh, principle is uh, the working fluid create a pressure difference and with the help of that pressure difference the rotary components will rotate that is how these types of motor are working and it is uh, driven with the help of hydraulic system it is called as hydraulic motor okay so uh, coming on to uh, Yesterday's last topic, that is uh, hydraulic motor's performance is measured with the help of three efficiency parameters. Okay. They are volumetric efficiency, mechanical efficiency, and overall efficiency. I already told it yesterday that uh, volumetric efficiency is nothing but the ratio of theoretical flow rate to that of actual flow rate. Okay. Uh, then uh, mechanical efficiency is uh actual torque divided by theoretical torque okay and overall efficiency is a product of volumetric efficiency and mechanical efficiency so uh, these parameters with the help of these uh efficiency parameters you can uh completely uh, uh study the performance of a hydraulic motor okay i think you are already uh are familiar with these types of equations from your hydraulic machines or a fluid mechanics syllabus okay so moving on to uh, the symbols that is uh, for uh, rotary actuators as we uh, done for uh, linear actuators that is uh, cylinders similar to that in cylinders it was just a rectangular shape in case of uh, rotary actuators or rotary motors or hydraulic motors it is circular in shape so here uh, we divided uh, the rotary symbol into two types you can uh, see here that a pneumatic motor type and hydraulic motor type okay in case of a uh, pneumatic motor type you can see a circle a circle represents a rotary actuator and inside that you can see a triangle at one side it is not shaded it is a hollow triangle okay so it uh, the uh, the triangle position at one side represents one direction and if uh, if the circle contain two side triangles then it represents the two direction of rotation that is it uh, this left side uh, pneumatic actuator will rotate only in one direction because it has only one triangle inside okay so uh, if we uh, consider a second uh, symbol it represents two directional rotary actuator that means it can rotate either in clockwise as well as anti-clockwise directions okay these are just symbol symbolic representation of a actual motor okay so uh, again we can uh, see that there is one more statement written here with a constant displacement volume this uh, equal sign that is two parallel line uh, coming out from that circle uh, is uh, the representation for cost constant displacement okay okay then uh, moving on to uh, uh, pneumatic motor with a variable displacement the variable displacement is uh, given with the help of a cross line or cross arrow mark okay with the help of this uh, you can see it is a it is a variable displacement pneumatic motor how we can identify it pneumatic or hydraulic with the help of shade in the triangle and how we can identify it is one direction or two direction it is with the help of number of triangles okay the uh, circle represents it is a rotary type actuator okay i think it is clear then uh, going on to hydraulic motor as i already told circle represents rotor 
and a triangle shaded triangle represents uh, number of uh, shaded triangle represents the direction number of directions and uh, uh, if it is one then it is called a one direction and if it is two it is called a two direction since there is no uh, cross arrow mark present in this symbols it is a constant displacement volume type hydraulic motor okay and in case of variable displacement type you can see a arrow mark okay so these are the symbolic representation of a rotary actuators okay you must be familiar with all these types of symbols okay you only need to identify with the help of these symbols how the uh, it is represented in symbolic diagram okay for simplicity of uh, designing purpose we are actually using these symbols okay so uh, the symbol symbolic representation for rotary actuators are over here only uh, for uh, eight symbols are here so you just try to uh, understand how it is created okay so uh, the, up to here uh, your rotary actuator topic is almost over uh, actually we can uh, in coming upcoming sessions we will uh, we automatically will come across these types of uh, actuators again and again so uh, for the uh, purpose of understanding your uh, rotary actuator is over by this section okay so coming on to valves so in inside a, a hydraulic or a pneumatic system the valves are a important part you can see in a pneumatic or hydraulic system diagram that i showed you yesterday day before yesterday uh, you can see there is a control valve this this control valve is nothing but a directional control valve so since this uh, circuit is a fluid circuit fluid circuit or a hydraulic circuit it is called as hydraulic control valve okay in case of pneumatic circuits if control valve is using it is called a pneumatic control valves okay so uh, it was uh, the uh, basic introduction about the control valve so uh, so moving on to uh, the details in we are uh, taking uh, for understanding purpose we are uh, concerned about hydraulic control valves okay or just simply hydraulic valves so in case of hydraulic systems the fluid power is controlled primarily through the use of control devices called valves okay the fluid power that is the power of working substance flowing through the circuit is controlled with the help of valves in general fluid power means it can be either direction either velocity volume pressure etc so in general the uh, working fluid is controlled with the help of valves okay so uh, hydraulic and pneumatic system require control valve to direct and regulate the flow of fluid from pump or compressor to hydraulic cylinders or hydraulic motors that is the hydraulic and the pneumatic system require control valves okay for to direct and regulate the flow of fluid from pump to hydraulic cylinders or from in, in case of uh, hydraulic circuits and uh, or compressor to hydraulic motors okay it means the use of pump will be in hydraulic circuit and use of compressor will be in pneumatic circuit okay okay this is the uh, basic uh, application for uh, hydraulic valves okay so the selection of these control devices depend on the type size actuating technique and remote control capabilities okay uh, depending on these features we are actually selecting what type of valves should be used in a particular circuit okay we already uh, seen in the previous uh, hydraulic circuit diagram that at that place we were using directional control valve okay so we can uh, we can simply say there are uh, three basic types of control valves okay 
so uh, the first one is directional control valves second one is pressure control valves and the third one is process control valves or flow control valves it, both the both are same okay so there are three types of control valves that is first one is directional control valve as the name indicates it means it can control the direction of fluid either uh, liquid or compressed air okay in case of a uh, pneumatic circuit it control the direction of air if this valve is used and in case of hydraulic circuit as in the previous example uh, you can see it controls the direction of fluid flow okay so that is the purpose of this type of valve directional control valve so coming on to next type of control valve that is pressure control valve you can see you can automatically uh, understand pressure control valve means the control of pressure of the working substance in case of uh, hydraulic circuit control of uh, fluid liquid will be done and in case of uh, pneumatic circuit the pressure of the compressed air will be done with the help of this control valves okay so coming on to a uh, process control valve it is also known as flow control valve from this name you can understand that this type of uh, control valves are used for flow control that is volume of flow that is a uh, volume rate or mass flow rate, flow rate of working substance like uh, either uh, liquid in case of hydraulic circuit or compressed air in case of pneumatic circuit okay so this is the uh, basic introduction to different types of valves now uh, we can go on to first type of valve that is a basic introduction for uh, a directional type of control valves here the directional control valves are used to determine the path of the fluid through which it should be traveled within a given circuit as i already told before the direction of the fluid flow can be controlled with the help of this directional control valves that is either it can go in forward direction or in backward direction that uh, control or it can stay still so that control can be done with the help of this type of control valves okay so uh, as i uh, already mentioned okay so the control of fluid path is carried out by check valves shuttle valves and two way three way or four way directional control valves so these are the examples of different types of control valves okay we can uh, discuss in upcoming sessions okay now moving on to uh, pressure control valves as i already told uh, the pressure control valves are used to protect the hydraulic system against over pressure the pressure of the system either pneumatic or hydraulic system is uh, controlled with the help of this control valve okay so this over pressure may occur due to a gradual build up as fluid de demand decreases due to uh, sudden surge as valve closes that is this uh, over pressure will happen when surging uh, occurs inside a fluid circuit okay so when these types of uh, phenomena happens inside a pipe flow there is a chance for over pressure so to control that over pressure these types of pressure control valves are using okay so the build up of the pressure is controlled by pressure relief pressure reducing sequencing unloading and control balance valves so these are the different types of pressure controlling devices okay these things also we can discuss in upcoming sessions okay so moving on to a third type of uh, control valve that is flow or process control valves the fluid flow must be controlled in a hydraulic circuit we already told the rate of flow can be controlled with the help of these types of control valves so the control of actuator speed we already told uh, what is the function of actuator actuator is actually giving the output motion so by controlling the speed of an actuator it is depends on the flow rate that is if the fluid inside the uh, driving system moves in high speed the actuator will work in high speed okay either linear or rotary so if the working substance is moving in lesser speed then the actuator will automatically work in lesser speed 
so to control the actuator speed or to control the overall process parameters the flow rate should be controlled so for this purpose the process or flow control valve are using so when we uh, come across these examples like uh, uh, shuttle valves check valves etc in case of check valves we we have to see the working based on the direction okay and in case of uh, uh, pressure relief or pressure reducing valves we have to see how the pressure control is achieved inside these control valves okay so that is our uh, basic idea for understanding the topic so coming on to coming into the detail the direction control valves as the name implies the direction control valves are used to control the direction of the flow to the actuators from the pump okay so this is the basic uh, use of or purpose of a directional control valve and the operating principle of directional control valves are the directional control valves are used to allow or prevent the flow of fluid to the actuator from the pump that is this control valve can either allow the flow of fluid through it or it can stop or it can um, move the fluid in the opposite direction okay so these three things can be controlled with the help of uh, directional control valves so the most of the directional control valves have po four ports as shown here okay these are uh, examples of uh, directional control valves in case of hydraulic system as well as a pneumatic system okay so left side you can see a hydraulic system working with the help of a directional control valve okay so in uh, with the help of a pump uh, the water from the tank is uh, taken into the circuit and it is uh, first fed into a directional control valve through a port p we just gave a port name like a p t a and b so the water from the tank is uh, fed into the uh, control, directional control valve with, with the help uh, through the port p so if uh, you can see here that if the valve a is only or the port a is only open then this actuator move, will move in bottom direction or from top to bottom okay and if the a port is closed and b is open that is a and t is closed b is open then this actuator will move in upward direction and in the third case if a and b are closed and t is open this uh, pump will work and uh, the uh, the actuator will be at a stationary position so either forward direction movement of the actuator or return direction movement of the actuator or stationary of the actuator can be achieved with the help of this directional control valves okay so these are the important four types of ports inside a directional control valve okay pump will be automatically working but with the help of uh, opening and closing the ports we can control the movement of actuators okay so this is the working of a hydraulic circuit so in case of a pneumatic circuit as we already told the air is uh, working fluid here and continuously air is taken from the atmosphere with the help of filter filter is not shown here but with the help of a uh, filter the air is fed into the circuit and uh, into a compressor thereby compressing and it is uh, stored in a receiver and from the receiver at a certain pressure the receiver will uh, pass the uh compressed the air into the directional control valve and uh, with as uh, similar to that of a hydraulic directional control valve this valve also will work okay so both the working of uh, this directional control valve are the same okay so the load is connected to the port a and b and the pressure supply from the pump to the port p the fluid is returned to the tank from port t so these are the uh, basic uh, purpose of these ports as i already told okay so this is a symbolic representation of a two position valve so uh, this is the symbolic representation of a two position valve that is it can either stop or move in forward direction or either move in forward as well as backward direction so this is the 
two position type directional control valve it is a directional control valve you should understand this is the symbolic representation of a two position directional control valve okay so coming into uh, three position uh, valves you can see a uh, three rectangles here these three rectangles represents either a uh, forward movement of the actuator or a backward movement or stationary position okay so these are the three movement and uh, three position valve and uh, two position valve okay so uh, this is a type of uh, four by two valve or four way two position valve so this is the uh, this is the basic uh, symbolic representation of a symbolic representation of a uh, directional control valve okay so you can see same pods here that is p that is uh, from the pump t it is uh, returned to the tank a that is forward movement and b the opposite to that of a okay so this is a two position okay two positions are there as i mentioned before there is a two rectangle it represents two position okay and a four way that is uh, four valves are there okay so i think i think uh, it is clear to you so uh, coming on to important types of directional control valves in the hydraulic system they are check valve two position two way valve two position four way valve uh, three position four way valve uh, rotary four way valve and shuttle valve these are the important uh, directional control valves inside a hydraulic system so uh, we can uh, start with a check valve okay so this is the simplest type of one direction flow valve and is uh, is a check valve okay so this is the simplest type of directional control valve it permits flow in only one direction and prevent any flow in other direction you have to understand this point that is check valve will only permit the flow in one direction we already know that this is a directional control valve so the check valve will permit the flow only in one direction and prevents any flow in other direction okay so i think uh, it is clear okay then uh, this is the basic uh, uh, basic working nature of a check valve it will permit flow only in one direction okay you can see from the uh, figure that uh, it is it is only uh, it is only entering from uh, one direction and it is only allowed to flow through that direction okay either from right to left or from left to right okay that is uh, here in uh, bottom figure you can see that uh, free flow direction is the uh, allowable direction of a uh, check valve and uh, with the help of a spring and uh, uh, one block arrangement uh, you can see the one directional movement is achieved and if the uh, fluid is uh, coming in opposite direction the spring will move in opposite direction and uh, it will block the passage this block will block the passage of fluid flow okay that is how the check valve works so the spring hold the poppet in the closed position when uh, reverse direction of flow is happening that is how the check valve works okay so you can understand from this figure that it is the working fluid direction is controlling okay this is a directional control valve okay so next point is when the fluid attains a required pressure it overcomes the spring force and the spring is compressed okay with the help of certain pressure hitting at this section uh, then only the uh, this block or the poppet will get uh, close the passage okay so it is a pressure press it can also control a pressure okay so uh, so the poppet is uh, moving right and the free flow occurs from left to right that is the basic uh, idea of uh, check valves and if the flow is attempted in the opposite direction the fluid pressure along the spring force uh, pushes the poppet in the closed position okay as i told 
okay hence uh, no flow is occurred in the opposite direction the graphical symbol shows the function of a check wall this is the graphical representation of a check wall you can see uh, an arrow mark and a circle here this circle represent a no flow direction and this arrow mark rep uh, represents flow direction okay so you have to draw or you have to understand this is the flow direction if symbol is represented like this okay and this is the no flow direction okay so i think it is clear to you this is a type of uh, pilot operated uh, check valve this is another type of check valve and the symbol for this type of check valve is this there is a square box and a dashed line and the same symbol as that of a ordinary check valve this is a pilot type of check valve here the difference is a uh, pilot pressure is applied at the one point to control the magnitude of flow okay that is the only difference you have to familiar with uh, these uh, terminologies like uh, like a uh, drain position uh, pilot piston pilot pressure port pilot pressure is applying here and uh, valve opening uh, opened by pilot uh, pressure flow normally blocked and these uh, things you must be understand with the help of this diagram that is with the help of a certain pilot pressure this uh, with through the pilot port this uh, pilot piston will move then at a certain position of uh, we have to apply this pilot pressure okay okay uh, then uh, the uh, free flow direction from the free flow direction it will flow and uh, if the pressure is at a certain is above a certain threshold value this valve or this piston will op will be in opposite position and if the flow occurs in opposite direction the automatically the piston will this fluid return fluid will block pushes the piston in a closed position this is how a pilot pressure check valve works okay you can uh, you can simply explain with your uh, logic itself okay you have to identify only the figure then use your logic to understand how it works okay so this is also another uh, representation of the same okay pilot operated check valve okay these are the three positions that is uh, when inlet pressure opens and it flows through the outlet pressure and uh, if the uh, certain pressure is applied that is a uh, pilot pressure is applied it will block the uh, passage of uh, fluid flow and in case of return pressure it will automatically block the piston okay this is the uh, working position of uh, position of a, a pilot operated check valve okay so uh, moving on to next type of uh, directional control valve next is a rotary four way valve the spool designed are uh, mostly used for directional control valves however other type used in uh, other types are used in rotary four way valves so it consists of a rotary closely fit, fitted inside a, a va valve body as shown in the figure okay i will explain it and the uh, corresponding graphic symbol is also shown here so this is the basic uh, working model or a working uh, progress of a rotary four way valve so it consists of a spool design you can see here the design of a tank a body and a rot rotor okay this complete uh, arrangement will give a rotary turn in the body to interconnect the pot okay so uh, just uh, th it consists of four ports as we already discussed in uh, check valves or uh, simple directional control valves you can see one port to a that is a, a for uh, forward movement of the actuator one port for return movement of the actuator one port inlet from the pump and one port return to the tank so these are the four types of movement or uh, four types of uh, working condition 
of the rotary valve so this type is uh, actually giving a rotary motion we were already only discussing about a linear type of actuators a linear type of uh, movements in these types of control valves but in case of uh, this that is a rotary four way valve you can see a rotating motion that is how the the flow direction is actually occurring okay so this is the basic uh, working diagram of a rotary directional control valve okay this is a uh, first position represent the pressure port to b that is a to tank that is uh, this is actually the blue line represents the path and uh, red line represents another path that is the fluid from uh, pump a is fed into the port a okay and in case of a uh, second block diagram that is centered or closed closed to center it is the name given to that all ports are blocked here that is pump is not giving any fluid into any of the port that is it is not giving into a or it is not giving into tank or it is not giving into b so this is a closed uh, port or closed center this position is called closed center first position was uh, actually the pressure from the pump is given into port a that is the for forward movement of the actuator okay so in the third position the pressure port to a b to tank okay uh, that is the pressure from the uh, pump is given directly into port b you can see here pump and port b are connected and in case of a and tank they are also connected so only fluid will come from this port only okay fluid will come from this port only then in this position the fluid will enter the port from the port p and it will go into port b hence the return or reverse working of actuator will occur so uh, to understand this uh, we have to cover also the graphical or symbolic representation of a rotary directional control valve so this is a this is the uh, blo block diagram or uh, just a graphical diagram for a directional control valve rotary directional control valve so you have to um, understand or by by heart this figure that is the figure for a rotary four way valve okay so coming on to next type of directional control valve that is a shuttle valve it allows a system to operate from either of two fluid power sources that is this is uh, the figure of uh, and the symbol of a uh, shuttle valve and this is the construction it consists of a bowl and this these are a single metallic uh, block that is a cylinder that is in cylindrical shape and this uh, for a port uh, one port i gave the name x and the other port i gave the name y and the third port is given a name a for easiness of understanding so this is the construction this is a cylindrical uh, cross section of a uh, metallic uh, pipe and uh, it is a uh, this inserted with a bolt okay and it consists of three types of ports so this is the symbolic representation of a of a shuttle valve okay so this type of valve we already know this is a example of a directional control valve so this type of valve it allows a system to operate from either of two fluid power sources in a previous uh, examples we, we will get only or we only have to think about only one fluid power source that is uh, fluid is coming only from one port that is from pump port on p port only but in case of uh, shuttle valve there can be either one or two fluid power sources okay so this is the uh, basic uh, working of a shuttle valve it is uh, also known as a double check valve you might be familiar with this name the shuttle name uh, shuttle valve is not much familiar but double check valve is commonly used to name for this type of valve 
and it is uh, mostly used in pneumatic devices and is rarely used in hydraulic circuit because it will not uh, work in high pressure condition okay and it uh, its construction is very simple it consists of a ball inside a cylinder uh, when the pressure is applied through the port x that is uh, when the pressure is applied the fluid is applied through the port x the ball is blown to the right blocking the port y when pressure applied through this port the ball will move and block the port y and uh, connecting the port x and a. hence the, the uh, when the ball is moving into this position the port x and a will be connected okay the flow will be from x to a this is the uh, first position similarly when the pressure is applied through port y the ball is blown to the left blocking the port x and the port y and a are connected and if uh, the pressure is applied from port y that is if the fluid is entered through this position this ball will move and block the x wall and the y and a port will be connected okay this is how the shuttle wall works so i think it is clear this is a basic uh, idea for blocking a passage with the help of a fluid pressure okay since the ball is uh, shuttled to one side the and the other side of the wall depending on which the side of the ball has the greater pressure it is known as shuttle wall since this movement of the ball is like a shuttle ball it is called a shuttle type valve or sh simply shuttle valve okay the shuttle valve is used for safety purpose in the event that the main pump can no longer provide hydraulic power to operate emergency devices okay so uh, the shuttle valve will shift to allow fluid to flow from a secondary backup pump okay this is the basic uh, working of a shuttle valve so uh, these are the diagram graphical diagram for uh, directional control valves you can see two position two connection valves two position three connection valves two position four connection valves these are you have to uh, understand or you have to at least you have to uh, study standard uh, actuators linear actuator and a uh, rotary actuator symbol these are uh, additional symbols for uh, at least a study uh, first four or five type of directional control valves okay both graphical symbol as well as diagram okay so these are the uh, different types of directional control valves so we can uh, stop here